Hi guys, um, in today's video I'm going to talk about Dokkan vs Legends. I wanted to do this video for so long and um, I feel like it's, it's, it's time because um, I feel Legends is, is going into, um, I don't know what, it's called, what, what to call it, but I feel like they are releasing each week a banner which is crazy and i just want to talk about what's the difference for me and um and yeah uh so i'm going to start with dokkan because it's the older version of the game uh, of dragon ball game and of course if i if i if you want to compare them i would compare dokkan when it got first released and and legends right now so as you can see, this is my Dokkan account and it's a free-to-play account. I never paid money on Dokkan. And you can see that I have uh, five uh, summonable units that are rainbowed. Uh, Super Gogeta and Beerus and Trunks and Gohan and Super Saiyan God Goku. Those are summonable units which are not free to pull and I rainbowed them and my account is like 700 days old so um, so I spend so many time on this account and <laughs> those are also the summonable units that I pulled without paying anything in the game so the thing here is I pulled all of these units uh, when they got released and comparing this to legends is not fair of course but legends when they release a banner they re release a sparking unit in proportion to like five hero units which is very irritating like when I do a multi on Dokkan, before we even get the guaranteed uh, SSR, I would expect to pull an SSR without even the guaranteed. But on Legends, when I do a multi, <laughs> I'm like 100% sure the multi is full of hero units that I'm going to get mad off. And the funny thing that I'm going to say about Legends is that I paid money in the game. I paid money in Legends. And what did it get me? Heroes, hero units. So this is all for free. And and yeah, I pulled the LR uh, Vegito, uh, sorry, the LR Gogeta on a single summon. <laughs> Which is <laughs> something crazy. This is an LR. And yes, it's a Dokkan Fest LR, but. I pulled them and I pulled LR Vegito on 120 stones. That's amazing. That's amazing. Dokkan is a free to play friendly game and they have uh, they have events that you can farm stones from and enjoy pulling stuff. Even the free-to-play units are good, and if someone wants to say that, yeah, Legends have also uh, hero units that are good and extreme units that are good, I would say no. You can't play with those on the PvP. <laughs> you can't play with that. This is not an, an argument to 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 put on when you want to talk about Legends versus Dokkan. No, the hero units and the extreme units are very bad, and they are not that. Great, yeah, there are so many specific units that you would use, but most of them are garbage. Compared to Dokkan, the older units like Super Saiyan 3, Goku, which most of the player have, he's top tier units. He's on the top 10 units in the game, and he's considered free to play. Yes, Dokkan is older game. But they release stuff that are free-to-play friendly 
and the summon rate of the SSR is high. So this is my this is my free to play account on Dokkan and this right here is my pay to play account. Oh yeah. So I paid I I I paid for Gogeta six multi summons and I didn't pull him. <laughs> and I pulled him on a single the day after the discount single <laughs> and I didn't pay anything to pull my LR uh, uh, Gogeta on Dokkan yes yes the the um, the rates are different but as you can see I'm not gonna use the extreme units I'm not gonna use that and all these uh, sparkings that I don't have that I don't have are very very important like Bardock is very important uh, cell is important who else Broly all these stuff are important and I'm missing them out and I pay money in this game you can't release so many hero units and expect me to be cool with that no you can't expect me to play PvP all the time to enjoy the game no and the older units in the game are becoming useless. I never use uh, who, uh, Vegeta. I never use Cooler. I never use all the older units that were released in the game except for the uh, the Goku. I used to enjoy running uh, uh, PyCon and now <laughs> he's useless. So the thing is that they release so many uh, so many banners like see here we just got the the uh, the legend saiyans banner and is going off and we're getting the uh, and the gogeta banner is going off tomorrow uh, in two days which is so annoying if you don't pull the units on this banner you're gonna be wrecked in the pvp and the story mode and the events are boring and even the missions are not worth like doing them i don't even want to do the missions in the game so this is what really uh really gets me to see the difference between dokkan and legends dokkan has more stuff to 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 do in the you have to you have so many things to do in the game <laughs> and for me i do i do them all for free without paying anything so so yeah um i know legends has more potential than dokkan and i like that they listen to what the community say and they try to upgrade the game and stuff but at the same time, Dokkan, when, when Legends got released, they also step up the game and they changed the animations and they gave us the guaranteed summon. So I feel like Dokkan wouldn't step down step down very easily and they would fight to, to be the number one game and I believe they are still number one. So, so yeah, um, nothing much to say about Legends right now because there is only PvP and if you don't have the new units you don't even want to go there because you get destroyed if I didn't pull Gogeta I would even not consider play the game <laughs> at all so so yeah that's that's why I think uh, Dokkan is still better but I also believe Legends has higher potential to be better than this and i hope that they stop releasing uh, banners each week <laughs> with new units i mean even the the uh, the uh, the tickets that they give us <laughs> they give us tickets with with cars that are very old you see the game is like six months old right now and if you if you talk about a unit that was released six months old uh, and you call this unit an old and outdated unit that says much about the game 
and on the other side in Dokkan, you have a unit that was released 2 years ago, 4 years ago, and it's still top tier unit. So, so yeah. Um, <laughs> I hope you, uh, you enjoyed this, and if you disagree with me, and of course, I would understand that. Uh, feel free to uh, to leave that in comments and um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you on the next one bye